हेलो सलाम नमस्ते सत श्रीकाल एंड कॉपी डू ऑल दिस इज़ माई फर्स्ट वी लॉग एंड आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू टेक यू टू मिनी इंडिया इन सिडनी येस वी डू हैव अ प्लेस विच जस्ट लुक्स लाइक इंडिया विच फील्स लाइक इंडिया एंड विच जस्ट वट यू से वैन यू गो एंड ईट आउट देर इट जस्ट टेस्ट लाइक इंडिया इज वेल सो फर्स्ट लेट्स गो हेड एंड चेक हाउ टू रीच देर second part is reaching here the good thing is in sydney the public transport is very very good so i'll suggest you take a train because harris park is 19 kilometers away from sydney cbd and there are fast trains coming to parramatta so you can get down at parramatta station and it's just about 500 meters from here or you can drive down or take a taxi but i'll actually say come by train i know you're seeing the sweating like hell because it's 33 degrees today I just wanted to go in the day so that uh, there's less cloud and I can show you around. So it's up to you how you want to come here. But I'll suggest come by train. Let's do this. Let's play this game. Let's count how many restaurants are there in Harris Park. So here comes the first one, Chulo. Uh, this is dine-in, Nepalese, and Indian, and uh, vegetarian, non-vegetarian. Now, one of the reasons why I also wanted to do this video is. like a lot of people come to sydney carrying lots and lots of dals and rice and what not and then they have problem in immigration thinking that uh, you know then they have to declare it and basically spend like 2 hours 3 hours just uh, getting the baggage scanned by these guys i don't know why because maybe you can get more uh, indian groceries here then you can actually get in india as well at one place i mean not literally in india so <laughs> chatkas so if you want chatkaras this is the place you need to be in so if you can see you know it's not just a restaurant and uh, i'll just pan it across to you so that's chatkas and there's a lot of this is pure vegetarian so if you pure vegetarian you're fine with it and then you can also have pan faluda ice cream with it they see barber so if you come to sydney and you're a little afraid of going to a lavnie saloon you can come over here <coughs> tikka corner i like this place uh, this has afghani kebabs and uh, they're pretty cool um and i think this is a pakistani restaurant but i'm not pretty sure but the food is awesome <coughs> one more thing you know during this pandemic these guys were not on uber so i don't know so that was restaurant number 2 3 and four and this is radhe the supermarket so that's the first supermarket you can see over here all right so that's the sweet shop that's chatka sweets and namkeen i hope it's coming in the frame so that was 1 2 3 so that's amravati this is for dosas biryani indo chinese so that makes it how many 1 2 3 4 5 And then we have Bombay Talkies, six. And then we have Jaipur Sweets. You can have Gol Gappas over here as well, so you don't need to worry about that as well. So how many were there? I mean, I'm just losing count of them because so many of them. And if you're from Delhi and you're so fond of dhabas, Sydney is not going to disappoint you as well because we have Billu's, Billu ka dhaba. I'm not. I've never eaten it here, <laughs> but yeah, this is a dawa. <laughs> so that makes it what seven, eight. Then we have what is this? This is rank number one. It's just not curries. So eight. Durga's Indian Street and Dessert Bar. So that's nine. Well, you also have a doctor. So now I can see another Indian grocery store, which will make it number two. So now we have like two Indian grocery stores. Yes. So Ginger Restaurant. So that's our restaurant number ten. Okay. So we have a bakery is coming. So Nam Nam Bakery, and I think this is sweet shop as well. So this is our second sweet shop. And then we have Nam Nam Hunger Strike. So that's restaurant number eleven, I guess. Pathan Supermarket. So that's 
our third grocery store Punjabi fusion lounge bar and restaurant so all the people from Punjab you don't need to worry about your own casino here because you have one right here oh momos people love momos don't they especially the Indians so you have you covered there as well so here we have A to B I've heard good things about it so I think this is the 14th one on the street yeah so it's Adhar Ananda Bhavan so that's the 14th restaurant on the street if I'm correct just let me know if I'm counting the restaurants correctly over here or not so that's good that's about it I think that's the street wherein we have covered like around 14 restaurants okay so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to that side of the street because yeah it's not over yet man 14 and still counting so we're gonna go ahead and go to that side of the street and see what's for us there okay now I am on the other side of the street uh, this is actually called Bigram Street that's a designer boutique latest designs and fashions oh, so here we have our 15th restaurant which is Taj Suites and restaurants so <clears throat> then this is Royal Immigration so yeah if you have immigration issues you can come here as well oh beauty clinic Kaya I used to see them in Delhi oh nine flavors of Pan Pani Puri yeah this is interesting nine flavors of them so yeah, if you're a Pani Puri lover, I'm telling you what, if you have a lot of, oh, Indian chopsticks, yeah. I love Indian Chinese and I've ordered a few times from here. The food is pretty good. Hyderabad house, that's 18. Okay, so what do you think? We'll break 25, I think we will. And then we have Dosa Hut. This is what, oh, cool. So that's like what, so 17 or 18? Man, I've lost the count. We'll count it again. So as of now, I'm just taking it like 18. And then we have what, Haveli? That's 19. Okay. So I have a history tip for Harris Park as well. You know, a lot of Indians call it Harish Park because of a lot of Indian restaurants. But there's a reason why it is called Harris Park. So stick around. I'll tell you that at the end of it as well because no place is complete without history this is desi kasai so if you don't like boiler chicken of coals and all you can come and buy the indian thing as well so again refreshing refreshment bar shri so for all those people who want to have chatkaras another option for you and i think this is the last one this is what pure vegetarian dosa plaza i think that was number 21 right so that's patel superstores that's the only street we have to cover. So let's go and check all the other restaurants there. So no traffic. That's our fifth superstore in Harris Park. I think so, fifth. So just keep on counting. You can also, you can also have Pani Puri so here. Okay. So, Apsara Hair Beauty and Spa. Wow. This is the second spa, I guess. Tuli Jewelers. You, found, you thought that the jewelers are only in India, that two Indian jewelers? Hi, we have Tuli's Jewelers over here. Okay, so Shimmer, the Fashion Hut. Oh, so Saris, Lenga, so whatever you want, that's also here. So that's good. You know, I like this. This has a fresh pan corner. I mean, could you just imagine that you can get a pan corner in Sydney? That is what? Indian Zaika. So another restaurant, so that's like 23. Was it 23? Was it 24? I don't know, uh, Rajwadi, Raj, Rajwadi, yeah, or Raj, Rajwada, it's Rajwadi, yeah, so that's what, 24, uh, did I count, count 24 again, okay, so, uh, I stopped, so that's the good thing, I'm the king of the road even though I have not paid road tax, oh, I did, because I did buy a car, and then I sold it, because it's $1,200 for renewing the regio. Oh, so we have another beauty secret saloon Jason King Bakery so that's I think the fourth bakery Apna Adda I think that's a restaurant see another another jeweler so you have a choice over here right we have Bawarchi that's 24 and my favorite the bottle mark oh they're, they're gonna be back in 10 minutes and that's Harris Park station remember we started this video with 
Paramedha station. So this was like 200 or 300 meters from there. And then you have Harris Park station. But the problem with Harris Park station is that fast trains do not stop here. So if you're coming from the city, it's better to take a train to Paramedha and say walk 20 to 200 meters. I think that's about the vlogging part of it. So guys, uh, finally I was able to get some shade and here I am to have a historical perspective of this place, Harris Park. So in 1791, as you know, that Australia was, is being built by most of the convicts. It was given to James Roos, who was a convict and uh, it was given for self-sufficiency and he actually went ahead and created an experimental farm and uh, supposedly according to wikipedia that's when the first wheat was grown and subsequently in 1835 this cottage was built by surgeon john harris uh, on whose name harris park is being built and uh, this this is a historical site now i don't see many people over here maybe because it's sunday but it's always nice to have a historical perspective of a city this is my first vlog so if you guys did like it just push the like button and give me comments i'm just doing it as a hobby and uh, just will let's see how it turns out uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one peace